What's up, guys? 12.04 in the afternoon. Um, been a busy morning this morning, just getting the DTF printers up and running. Had to reclaim some screens earlier, answer some emails, you know, the whole gamut. Everything that we typically have to do running our screen print and DTF business. But I got both of the DTF printers up and running already. This one, uh, DTF printer number one, I am still waiting on a design to finish ripping and then I'll get that one sent over. The one that is ripping right now is like 1400 inches. So I just really am hoping that I can get that done by the end of the day. And it's just, for this one uh, that is going to be ran, it just sucks because it's like super inefficient since it's a 12 um, by 15 file. So it's only gonna really go like up to here. Um, but since it's 12 and a half inches wide, I can't fit two right next to each other like I could if they were 11 inches wide. Um, so it's just gonna be a super inefficient print. Um, I tried to rearrange it on Photoshop, but it's a gang sheet. So the way that the customer has it laid out, it just wouldn't work out. So I have um, the file ripping right now, currently at 75%, like I said, 1300 inches. That's gonna take at least four hours. Hopefully it can finish a little bit quicker than that and we can actually get it all packaged and shipped. But um, yeah, yesterday we got all the packages dropped off at UPS, like just barely. I really don't think we could have fit like just one more box in there. I don't think we could have been able to do it in our car. Um, we had that thing filled to the brim. We had uh, packages on Michaela's lap. It was crazy. So really hope that doesn't happen to us again. Um, we still have to call UPS and see if there's anything we can do. Like, can we schedule daily recurring pickups? Um, something so that we actually have like a truck that can handle all of our packages. Because if you try to schedule the pickup online, they only let you select 30 packages in there. Um, and then like, I got more than 30 packages most days. So what am I supposed to do on that? Do I, is the solution to really like place multiple pickups or, or what? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's what I got going on right now. I haven't been able to get any clips. I forgot to show you guys actually, um, but I reclaimed probably like 14 screens earlier this morning, which if you guys uh, have been sticking around for a while, you know that reclaiming screens sucks and is my like least favorite thing. So got all the screens reclaimed. They actually look dry right now, so I could go ahead and get coating them, but I think I'm gonna wait a little bit. If you're wondering, where Michaela is, she had to run to Aviva Wholesale and um, GSG. So once she gets back, we'll get started on um, what else we need to do today. She ran to Aviva because we needed canned koozies. And um, we also, SNS was out of stock of youth larges. So we needed some youth larges for an order. We got another order from a school for um, like 400 tees. So we got that coming up. Um, a, lot of, a lot of things coming up, but hopefully we can just manage it all and things won't get too overwhelming and chaotic. All right, cool. My file just finished ripping. I'm going to send this over to the printer right now and then we'll see how things are going. The printer has been down for probably like 20 minutes, so I'm going to wonder whether or not the nozzles are going to be good. They honestly look, look all right. So that's cool. And we can uh, let this run. It's going to take quite some time, that's for sure, but we'll just go ahead and let this guy run. All right, you can make sure that I do have enough powder there. So yeah, just gonna let this guy run and uh, I'll check back in with you guys for the next update. All right, guys, time is 12. I'm uh, going to get these screens coated now. Michaela still isn't back from Aviva and GSG. Oh God, guys, my emulsion still smells terrible. If any of you guys... Oh, I just spilled. any of you guys screen print and your emulsion smells terrible, please let me know. I would love to know that it's not just me because my emulsion didn't used to smell like this. And I've, like, I'm not saying, like, I got a new brand or something. Like, I've been using the same brand, and it never used to smell like this. And this is, like, the second one that I've gotten where it just smells terrible. So 
If you guys know anything about this, let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate it because, bro, this is not normal. Like, this does not, not smell normal. It literally, like, it, it smells bad. Like, I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> and uh, I haven't even, like, asked my supplier about it, so maybe I should probably start there. But the, th the thing is, like, it still works. Like, it's the emulsion's working as intended, so, like, it's just like, why does it smell? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm just getting these screens coated. Um, I am only going to do the manual size screens right now because I don't feel like getting the auto ones dirty just to do um, two screens, three screens. So I'll wait, wait till I need the, those and then I will do the auto size screens. But give the prints a quick look. Make sure everything is good. We could use some more powder. So uh, we'll go ahead and add some to this one. All right. Let's go ahead and get these screens coated. a bit has time has passed since I last updated you guys uh, but I got these bags all finished up we just had nine of them so it wasn't anything too big uh, I did use the DTF transfers on them so that was pretty cool I was a little worried about the heat messing with the bags because uh, they are nylon I think um, and sometimes when I've messed with nylon before on the heat press it can kind of get deformed um, and just like it doesn't really like heat you know so I'm really happy that everything worked out. I turned the temperature down on the heat press to 320, and then I gave the like drawstring bags a pre-press because they just had some wrinkles in them uh, from being in the box. Um, so those were those turned out really well. I'm happy with them. Unfortunately, uh, the customer also ordered some koozies, but I have not been able to get the koozies. I, I tried two times front and back and i don't know what it is these are just like not wanting to press properly i tried increasing the pressure um i tried putting a little like pillow under there to uh, kind of like get it up there so that it would be making contact with the press still didn't work um, so i think i might have to screen print those it's just that these are um they're black so to when how they got them black is they sublimated them which if you guys aren't already familiar, sublimation can lead to dye migration, which basically means the color of the garment has transferred up to the color of the ink that you're putting on top of it. So say, for example, I was putting white ink over that black koozie, uh, the dye from the koozie, the black koozie, would then migrate up to the ink and make uh, the white ink like a gray um, rather than the true white, which is what we want. So I think what I'm going to have to do I don't even know if I have any more. Oh, I do. I is use um, this polyester white. So I'll try and get you guys a shot of it. Um, but it's basically dye migration blocking white. So I'll have to use that on um, the koozies. And yeah, I haven't ever screen printed koozies, but I have like when I when I bought the press, it came with a koozie platen. So, I don't know. We're, we're going to give it a try tomorrow, see how things go. We also have some mugs to make for this order. They're doing kind of like a care package. Um, so they have the drawstring bags, the mug, and then the koozie all going in together. So we got to make all of that tomorrow. I'm pretty apprehensive about using the uh, koozie platen on the screen printing press just because I don't know how I'm going to make sure that they all go evenly on the same exact spot. 
Um, but I'm gonna have to figure that out tomorrow. That's gonna be a problem for tomorrow. The printer number two has already finished up for the day. Time, like I said, is going on 3.30. So we gotta get that film cut. We did already cut the film down here so that we could start getting um, the Halloween Town transfers all cut up. But this guy is still going strong. Currently at 52% on this one. So I think we're probably gonna have to pause it and uh, resume it tomorrow because we're not gonna be able to get this finished today. Uh, we have at least like three more hours on this print. It was a large order uh, and then compounded by the fact that we have all of this wasted space just because of how the um, graphic was configured using a website. I probably could have changed things around and put some down there, uh, but I would have had to get the customer's approval for that. And I just wanted to, I mean, I don't want to have to bother the customer with something like that. It's not, not something they need to worry about. It's only something that would make things more efficient for me. So I'm not going to bother the customer with that. Just suck it up and deal with it. But yeah, guys, that's what we got going on right now. I got to package up WW transfers, so I'll set up a time lapse for you guys. All right, friends, getting the film cut on DTF printer number two. Uh, there is like four designs that I need to get pressed onto a t-shirt. Um, that customer has been uh, very patient with us waiting. I think today is actually like the seventh day and their order is supposed to be shipped today. So uh, very patient on that customer, thank you. Um, but yeah, I just got to get those four t-shirts pressed. It was actually a replacement because uh, they had pa incorrectly passed out the t-shirts when they were passing them out. So the whole thing kind of sucked. Anyways, it, it's not like it was our fault. It's just like not a very fun situation. So we had to uh, give them four replacement t-shirts and we got to get those pressed. The transfers for the order are in the roll. Um, so I got to cut the film and then get those cut out of the roll and press those t-shirts. And while I'm doing that, hopefully Michaela can get the custom orders packaged up. UPS just came, it was our normal driver. Yesterday it wasn't, um, so it was our normal driver. There was nothing in the truck, so that was great. He was able to take all of our packages. And then, oh, also, Michaela um, was able to just call UPS and now we have a daily recurring pickup. So we don't have to schedule the pickup each and every day. They just charge us $30 per week and they will come every day um, between three and four. So that'll be great. I told them our preferred time would be 3.30, um, which, is, which works really well for us. That's um, a lot different than the three hour window that we were initially working with. And like an hour window, I, I can work with that. That's not that bad. Um, got to take the uh, this thing out of the dryer because I can't do the film with that on there <laughs> not the most uh, what's the word not the most seamless doing it that way but it works nonetheless So yeah, uh, right now, if you guys don't know what I'm doing, I know it's gonna be pretty loud because I'm right in front of the shaker. Um, I just cut the roll on the printer and then I'm just like slowly feeding it through the dryer to cure all of the transfers on the roll. And by doing it this way, then I don't have to waste any film because I don't have to just run empty film through the printer just to get those designs cured. And I don't have to ruin the designs because they're not cured. So. I, can, I just do it this way to ensure that I can get the most bang for my buck. It's not obviously the most fun, for sure. As you can see, I would much rather not do this, but whatever. It does save some money, and it only takes like 5-10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and then once I'm done, I will cut up the designs that I need for the t-shirts, and then Michaela will start working on the customs.
All right, almost five o'clock. Got all of the t-shirts um, cut out and taped on. Now I just need the heat press to come up to temperature. I'm like uh, 20 degrees away. So once this comes up to temperature, I'll get started pressing these and then we can head on out of here for today. Oh crap, wait, I still gotta, I still gotta cut up the customs. So once we get those done, then we can head out of here for today. All right, guys, got the customs packaged up, got the t-shirts finished, currently 514. Got to get these two packages dropped off to UPS, and that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.